what up what up hey what's good good people hey hope everybody's doing well welcome to the channel with the fragrance ninja and uh today i want to talk about one of my favorite layers when it comes to the fall time i can't wait until the fall to break something like this out because when it all comes down to it with fragrances i pretty much cross every spectrum whether it's fougier freshies the ouds i'm all over the place but in my heart of hearts what i really really enjoy is the gourmands something about smelling edible i absolutely love and i believe this all started back and it was a movie michael with john travolta and in this movie he was an angel that was on earth and what happened in that movie is every time he was around people smelled their best memories of baked goods or some kind of dessert so people would say he smelled anything like brownies to cotton candy to uh, caramel and just whatever was their favorite dessert treat whenever he was around they thought that they smelled it and so the fascination with that and how they were drawn to him kind of first piqued my interest when I started thinking about gourmands but enough of the story so one of my favorite layer gourmands when it comes to fall time starts with the house of Montal. it starts with sweet vanilla the notes on this sweet vanilla is apricot and vanilla that's it that's all that's listed apricot and vanilla now it does smell like it escapes my memory at the time but uh, it's a fragrance from uh, perfume aroma it smells eerily similar to that fragrance but true to montal this lasts all day long and this is the first part of my layer and what i do i take that sweet vanilla and i top it off with chocolate greedy now chocolate greedy there's a few more notes in this one such as tonka uh, of course chocolate and vanilla and bitter orange now when you first spray this on whenever you combine these two actually i'm more so two to one on this one because this has a little more punch and you need this a little more sprays to make this shine through and but give it about an hour or two to dry down for it really to mesh together and you are left with this chocolate vanilla somewhat marshmallow i mean it's like a s'mores without the damn cracker that's really how it comes off and this uh, chocolate greedy is really a fragrance that it's i don't want to say it's overlooked but not a lot of people really jump on it i think because of the simplicity of it because it just is sort of a dark dry chocolate that smells like somewhat bacon brownies but it is that good but now the trick is with this one this is a three-part layer i also implement molecule 2 yeah i know i know ambroxan simply ambroxan but before you start thinking i'm crazy as cat shit let me explain this one so this gives the sweet you know with the somewhat marshmallow chocolatey and this adds kind of a salty as well as a creamy semi musk just to give it that little bit of edge on it and that's what this brings and this is one also a fragrance and like i mentioned before you think i'm just nuts and off my rocker try it with other niche fragrances something about this fragrance makes the other notes seem like they're in hd to me it seems to enhance the other notes and also gives it a little more life and a little projection almost brightens them up a little bit and that is a perfect complement to this and i know sometimes people think oh this is just cheap ingredient it's just ambrox and they throw it in any joe blow fragrance it's like yeah you know who created this though neither do i i don't remember his name but who it is is he also created clive x for men and as well clive men 1872 is also the creator of all molecules so he's not just some cheap joe blow perfumer he knows what the hell he's doing and video for a future date i also combine these with those two yeah i know 
take glycrystin and combine it with molecule O2 seems like blasphemy, but it's the same perfumer, so why not? He created all this stuff for a reason. Try it out. You might be surprised. It might just work out wonderfully for you. But <laughs> that's actually my layer when it comes to fall time. You know, this is such a yummy combination that someone might bite your ass. You might get a nip from somebody because you smell that edible with this combination. I mean, if you got it, try it out. Smoke them if you got them, why not? But uh, <laughs> that's all I got for now. Hey, until next time, y'all be good.